Oh yeah, today we're going to make uh, a change for Burns or just any night really. Um, goes nice with a beer. A haggis ring. So we're going to start by making a rough dough. You don't have to make the dough. You can go to a shop and buy some pizza dough. That will do just as well. So you're going to add a teaspoon of salt to 200 grams of flour. Into that, you're going to add approximately sort of 8 to 10 grams of yeast. 130 grams of warm water and a teaspoon I'm going to use the rapeseed oil um, keep it local but you can use olive oil if you want and that's all that goes into the dough it's a very simple dough now I'm going to mix this with my hand and then turn it out and knead it for 10 minutes so there you go I've brought that together as a dough Tiny bit of flour on the board, and we're just going to knead that good and hard for about 10 minutes till it all goes like nice elastic -y. Okay, so I've been kneading this for about 10 minutes, and we're ready. What we're going to do now, pop it back in the bowl. And then covering cling film and we need to let that double in size now as i say you can just go and buy a bowl of um pizza dough you can even get it ready rolled uh the, the only thing is that's about two three quid making it yourself is about 10 bob so that's why i do it and you've got more control over flavor as well so we're going to leave this double in size now okay so it's doubled in size now we're just going to pop a little bit of flour on the board. We'll work this into a circle. There's lots of ways of doing it. You can do it with a, a rolling pin. I'll probably use a rolling pin at the end. But you've just spent a lot of time putting some air into it. So pulling it. Essentially this is a pizza dough. So you can just pull it with your hands. You want it nice and flattish. You want it about the size of a dinner plate. I'm just going to work on this for a bit and then get a sheet and come back. Okay, there you can see it's um, all laid out properly now. So we're going to pop it on this sheet. This is a silicone sheet. I use these because nothing sticks to them. Uh, well, nearly anything. I'm going to take a small plate and pop it in the middle. Now around the edge of this, we're going to pop a haggis. I'm using a sweet haggis, but you use whatever you want. Just crumbled it so it will sit properly. The plate's only there as a guideline. It will come off before we finish. How much you put in is up to you. Put too much, maybe I'll close it up. So this is about, I suppose, you know the small haggis you buy in a supermarket. Um, I'm not sure the size now, I think they're about a pound. But it's about three quarters of one of those. So you've probably got about a pound, a pound and a half of haggis on there. I'll just check there, 400 grams. So you've probably got about 300 grams of pound and a half of haggis on there. So that's that. Now, carefully, we're going to just lift this plate out. It was only there to give us a rough guideline. Bring your bits of haggis back in. Now, on top of that, we're going to take some caramelised onion chutney. You know, I make it or just buy a jar in a shop. This gives you the, the contrast. I mean, normally you'd have a bit of ketchup or a, a, a peppercorn sauce or something with it, just to give a bit of contrast on the flavours and the fat. 
but this gives you a bit of vinegar and a bit of sugar a bit like ketchup in a way really spread that all the way around and then on top of that we're going to put some just grated cheddar now you want a cheddar that melts well um, this is the really cheap one from Asda's but it melts really well you know how some cheeses just the fat comes up and they don't go gooey in it and they're not very nice this one really melts well so cheddar cheese all around doesn't matter if it looks scruffy all will come clean right. so in the middle there we're just going to cut right the way through and we're going to do six cuts like so <clears throat> now we're going to take a little bit of beaten egg and we're just going to brush it in there that beeping is the uh, oven preheating to 190 degrees now we're going to lift opposite one of the triangles and we're just going to pull that triangle lift and tuck it underneath like that so we've got like a little um strap going across now do an opposite one pull it tuck it under like so there we go now. over tuck under over, tuck under. Over, tuck under. Don't worry, we're going to tidy it up before we cook it. Over, tuck under. Now, push your bits of cheese back in and just tease these edges up so that it forms like a cup. shape it a bit okay that's basically there now we're going to take a little bit of the beaten egg just brush it over the bits that show so we get a nice bit of color going and there Now once it's cooked, you can stuff that middle with salad if you're that way inclined, or chips if you're that way inclined. But that's that. Now we're just going to let it sit for about 10 minutes to kind of let the, um, the dough relax a bit and get ready for the oven. So about 10 minutes and then it goes in at 190 degrees until it's cooked, which will probably be about 20 minutes. Okay, it's rested for 10 minutes. It's going in the oven now and it's going to go for 190 degrees. Um, I'm going to time it and tell you how long it takes after it comes out. There you go, that was in the oven for half an hour. I've just filled the middle with a few chippies, put some salad on it. Um, if you don't know, you eat it all at once, you can sort of nuke it later on. Um, give it a try, it's just another way of having haggis. Go nice with a few beers or a whiskey, I suppose. There you go, have a go.